Hey guys, it's Adrian Ruby HA here bringing you one last video uh, before the uh, Christmas holiday here. Uh, so my gift to you is how to back up your Home Assistant configuration uh, out to the cloud uh, in Dropbox. So it's always nice to have a backup of your configuration and your files that, uh, that work with Home Assistant. That way if something goes wrong or if you uh, lose a hard drive or something, then you have a, a copy of your config somewhere else that you can restore from once you get your system built back up. And no better way to do that is to just send those files to a um, cloud storage like Dropbox. Now, as you can see here uh, on this Home Assistant uh, instructional page here, uh, this is how you set up the configuration back up to Dropbox. Uh, so we're basically just going to run through this together and make sure that you know how to set it up and do everything properly. I really like this setup. Like I said, it's awesome uh, for having a nice backup somewhere other than your local system. That way if something goes wrong, you have a backup off-site that you can restore from uh, once you get your system back up. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, you are going to create a Dropbox account. Once we do that, we're ready to download the scripts from GitHub. These are the scripts that we are going to use for um, backing up our uh, config and sending it to uh, Dropbox. Once we have those downloaded, we need to uh, edit those scripts just to uh, point to the correct directories of where our Home Assistant configuration files are, where we're going to store our Dropbox scripts. Once we have those edited to uh, what we need, then we are going to run the uploader script for the first time. After that, we are ready to run our backup script. And then lastly, I'm just going to show you how to set up a cron job uh, so that that uh, backup script will automatically run periodically and back up your configuration for you. So let's get started. All right, like I said, uh, for starters, you need to create a Dropbox account if you don't already have one. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You can actually uh, just sign in with your Google account, or, or you can create one from scratch uh, using just an email address and a password if you want. Once you have that created, we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so next we need to download a couple of scripts that they use to uh, send these files to Dropbox. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and hit the links right from the uh, Home Assistant forum that has this uh, set up already here. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are uh, two links here, one for a, uh, a shell script and one for a Python script. We'll click on the Python script first. And I'm just going to select it all and I'll paste it into my command line. Give me a second to move that over. All right, and now let's click on the shell script. Again, I'm just going to select this whole thing, copy, and I'll paste it into the CLI as well. And let's just jump over to the command line here and show you. So what I have done, I created a Dropbox uh, backup folder uh, in my home directory. And I have put both of those files in there, dropbox.py and dropbox underscore uploader dot sh. Once you have those saved somewhere on your uh, home assistant machine, uh, we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so we need to edit the uh, dropbox.py file to uh, point to the correct uh, location of our Home Assistant configuration, as well as where we're going to store these two Dropbox scripts. So I'm going to do a vi dropbox.py. And as you can see here, the directory to sync, uh, let's see, it's called sync dir. We're just going to change that path to point to my path. So you'll want to edit this to point to wherever your Home Assistant configuration is. OK, 
get that updated. And then the second one that we need to update is Uploader. Uh, it's a, uh, right below there. So I created that uh, Dropbox backup directory inside of uh, my home directory as well. So I'm just going to update to point to that. And as you can see down here below, I have told it not to store my secrets.yaml file and the depths folder um, in uh, the Dropbox cloud folder. I, I, just for security reasons, I don't want that to uh, accidentally get out in the open, so we're going to keep the, uh, those separate. Let's go ahead and save this and move on to the next step. All right, now we are ready to run our uh, uploader script for the first time. So first things first, we need to do a chmod on that so that it is an executable script. So we'll do a chmod plus x dropbox underscore uploader dot sh. Once that's done, we can go ahead and run it. So we'll do a dot slash dropbox underscore uploader dot sh. And it will pop up here and kind of tell you that, oh, this is the first time you've run the script. And it'll give you a list of instructions to uh, finish out this whole setup so that everything will run properly. Uh, so basically, we're going to highlight uh, this URL and go to that in the browser. It's, of course, going to ask us to log in with our Dropbox account. Once we're logged in, we can go ahead and Click on Create App, and then we're going to select Dropbox API up here at the top, and then we need App Folder. That's uh, the first of two options listed below, and you need to give a name for your app. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to say Home Assistant Backup, and then click on Create App. All right, um, so now that we're here at the next page, we're looking for a section that says generate access token. So we're going to click on generate access token and it's going to uh, generate it there. We'll just basically uh, copy it and we're going to paste it into our CLI where it asks for the access token. It comes up and asks if everything looks okay. So we're gonna say yes. And it will say the configuration has been saved. All right, so we're ready to move on to the next step. Let's run this backup script. Uh, so inside the uh, the Dropbox backup directory where our scripts are run, we're going to say Python Dropbox.py, hit enter, and of course it will kick off this uh, script. And as you can see here, it's uh, copying and uploading. It shows you the ones that it is excluding, which is our secrets.yaml file. And it'll take it a second to move all that, especially if you have a large database. We'll fast forward through it so we're not waiting around for it to finish. And as you can see, everything's synced up correctly. Everything looks good. So we now have our Home Assistant directory saved out into Dropbox. Let's jump over to our Dropbox uh, uh, web interface and just see that that Home Assistant directory is in there. And as you can see, there it is. And uh, there's all the files uh, copied up from uh, our uh, Home Assistant machine. Everything looks great. Let's move over to our last and final step. So just uh, as one last step, we're gonna set it up as a cron job. So this will run automatically. Uh, so we're not having to just manually run this whenever. It will keep our system backed up to the Dropbox directory for us. We won't have to do anything else. So we do this by um, setting up a cron job. And I'll put all this information in the description below so you can copy and paste it. I'm not going to list all this out, um, but as you can see here, we're just going to put in this uh, cron tab entry uh, and point it to our Python script and how often we want it to run.
and that is all we have to do. Now it is set up to automatically run for us and keep our system backed up to Dropbox. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, like I said, one last video I wanted to try to get out before Christmas. Um, you know, gives you a way to back up your configuration to the cloud and to, um, you know, give you a little bit more redundancy in case anything goes wrong with your system. You will definitely have a backup that you can access from somewhere else if need be. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. For starters, you needed to create a Dropbox account if you didn't already have one. Uh, once you did that, we uh, downloaded the scripts needed from GitHub. Uh, once those were downloaded, uh, we needed to edit up that backup script just to make sure that uh, it had the right information. After that was done, we were ready to run the uploader script and follow the instructions for first time setup. Uh, once all that was done, then we ran the backup script. And then lastly, uh, we just uh, set it up in a cron job so it would automatically run on its own without us having to manually do anything. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.